Okay, I on MPI this week, brought to you by Digikey and Adafruit, is from Sincereon. Lady Ada, what is the I on MPI this week? Okay, we're back with another Sincereon one. Um, this just popped up on the digikey.com slash new page, and I do love a good Sincereon sensor. We've featured them a lot, um, but ever since, like, you know, the SHT10, they, these people have been, like, rocking out. They've been coming out with one great product after the other. Um, and this week is no different. It's part of a new series. It's the first of the Sen 5X. It's the Sen 54. Um, it looks just like, you know, a particulate sensor. And you might be like, hey, you know, is this just another PM25 sensor? There are so many of those. And I'm like, yes, it does have a particulate sensor, but also has other sensors um, available. So this is the eval board version. There's, there's basically two, two versions, one with the cables, one without. So the Sen uh, 54 or the Sen 5X series, um, it's kind of a four in one. It is a particulate sensor, but it also has a temperature and humidity sensor built in, which most particulate sensors don't have. And on top of that, it also has VOC and um, there's one model that has an NOx sensor as well. So two gas sensors, humidity and temperature, which is kind of nice. It's like all in one. Um, it's got uh, all the different data signals because there's multiple PM signals. There could be multiple VOC signals. Uh, humidity and temperature, um, and it all comes out of one I squared C or UART port for very uh, quick calibration and uh, usage. Um, and I just love that it's like this little box. You have a cable, you plug it in, and it's like kind of all of your sensing is taken care of, um, and you're all sensing the same air at the same time. So that's that's also kind of a nicety um, with this all-in-one uh, sensor platform. Um, so there's a few of these. Uh, the Sen 50 and the Sen 55 don't exist quite yet. The Sen 54 is what is currently available. Uh, that doesn't have the NOx sensor, but it does have the VOx, uh, sorry, the VOC, the um, volatile organic compound sensor, and has the particulate matter and temperature and humidity. So just FYI, there's a family. We're only covering the Sen 54. Um, you know, inside there's a little processor that handles uh, all these readings. There's a laser particulate sensor. Um, there is the gas sensor is um, an SGP uh, 31 or 41. Can't remember the exact part number. Um, and sorry, the SGP. Yeah, the SGP 41 is the gas sensor. The SHT 30 um, is the temperature humidity sensor or I could have those numbers reversed. Either way, basically they took existing Sincerian sensors and um, popped them into the body. And um, I can actually show that real fast on the overhead. Um, let me just autofocus here. So in this body, you can kind of see this is, I took it apart so you can see the laser here. Um, and then over here, if you look very carefully, you can see this little white dot. That's the SGP30 and that's the SHT uh, 40 or 41 and then this is the laser sensor and then if you look also really carefully you can see like a little shiny square here um, that's the particular um, sensor that looks for the reflections off of the uh, the laser to, to count and detect particles okay so that's just a, a quick aside yeah. to show how it's put together so it's it's in one box um, you know, it's all, it's not fully enclosed. Of course, there's a fan that'll pull air in, but you can kind of put it at the outlet of a box um, that you have protected so you can have air come in and then it gets ejected out the side. Um, and, you know, there's no like O-ring, but there's a little bit of, you know, semi-sealing. Like it's not going to, whatever air comes in isn't necessarily going to get your whole uh, sensor dusty. Um, it's just going to be that the channel in, in the center there. There's also um, 3D modeling files that you can use if you want to uh, model how this would fit into your um, you know, HVAC system or your home uh, air quality monitor or, or other indoor air quality monitoring. You will need a cable to connect to the sensor. Um, there is uh, power and ground that you need. So that's five volt power. That's pretty usual for particulate sensors because there's a fan. Uh, it's a five volt fan. And there's two data lines. The data lines can be either I squared C data and clock, or they can be UART, RX, and TX. And you actually get to pick because the fifth wire is um, the interface selection. You pull ground for uh, I squared C and pull high for um, UART. I only used I squared C to be honest, but um, UART I'm imagining has very similar data output as most PM 2.5 sensors that kind of blast out once a second. Uh, you know, all the PM data encoded in this um, uh, CRC uh, binary hex data. Um, there is lots of library code for this, which is really nice. So I was able to get this up and running very quickly because uh, they wrote 
um, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and you know, generic embedded, um, you know, for whatever STM or, or NXP chip drivers, and um, they just kind of work. So you don't have to bring up the boards and sensors by writing all that code yourself. They do have libraries and example codes ready to go, which is quite nice. Um, there's even a BLE uh, gadget library example, which I thought was really cool because um, it uses an ESP32, and then you just load the example sketch onto your ESP32 wire up to the main I2C port, uh, and you've got this, um, you know, you can use their app to read the sensor data. So let's go quickly to the overhead again, and I can show it. So this is the sensor. Now, I'm not going to get proper readings, of course, because I've opened this up, and so, like, it thinks that there's, like, all this particular matter, and just, just because there's no, um, the light is, is being, uh, you know, messed up here a little bit. The laser's uh, got stuff in between it. Um, but you do see um, up here humidity 19%, temperature 27 degrees, VOC 68. And if I breathe on it, it turns pink. Yeah, you'll see uh, the humidity no, starts going up quite a bit, and the temperature is going to cool a bit, and also uh, probably uh, the PM 2.5. The PM 2.5, by the way, is going to be all all messed up because it's uh, it's exposed. Um, but it, you know, it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice all-in-one sensor. I mean, it's it's convenient for if you need to have your humidity and temperature and VOC. You know, you want to do air quality measurements, but you don't want to expose the entire body of your electronics. Like this kind of gives you this channel of exposure that is you know sort of separated from the rest of the electronics. Um, and you know, like I said, why there isn't uh, a um, O-ring necessarily, it's going to give you better sealing than you probably do yourself while still exposing um, the air channel, which is, you know, from, from the fan here, you know, air comes in through this channel and then gets ejected out. So, okay. uh, you know, all in one, very convenient. And it uh, uses the sensors you know and love, the SHT40 and the SGP30 and their particular sensor um, ready to go. You just need a cable, plug it in, and uh, you can use their Arduino or... Um, Available on DigiKey, Pie drivers. We, have, uh, we have a link in the chat, and then also you can check out the short URL and the product number right there. And There's also the eval kit that comes with cables. And you can uh, buy it. There's a lot in is, stock, which actually. Which is a great uh, feature of products now, Yes. being able to buy them. So pick one up, and that is ION MPI this week. ION MPI.